All right, hold on. I'm gonna do myself a. I'm gonna mute everyone. As always, you are free to unmute yourself if you need to communicate with me. Um, I don't know if I'll see things if you type something in the chat. So if you need to tell me something, just unmute yourself and, <laughs> and let me know. In honor of our backbending and stuff, maybe have a strap. If you have a strap-like object, maybe you have an actual strap. This is a really long one, but um, a strap or a belt or a, you know, from a bathrobe sash or dog leash or anything like that works. Um, and possibly like a blanket, if you have a yoga blanket or a towel, a beach towel makes a nice yoga blanket, maybe, maybe two towels, but um, in any case, just some support props, just in case. All right. So if you're not already lying down, go ahead and lie down. And just soften your shoulders down away from your neck. Let the backs of your shoulders relax down toward the floor. And let's start by taking a few deep breaths together. So let your body Relax and then take a big inhale through your nose, filling up the whole body, holding the breath when you're full and just pausing there, releasing with a sigh, exhale, and just send all the breath out. Do that again, inhale through your nose, take a big full breath, fill the whole body with the breath, holding it, and softening, releasing, exhale, and just let the body relax even more. Do that one more time, inhale. Biggest breath, fill up as much as you can, holding the breath, relaxing into it. Seeing if you can sip in a little bit more, see if there's space. Hold that, right, soften, feel the breath. And release it with a sigh. Exhale. And let all the breath just pour out. And start to breathe in and out through your nose. Inhaling. Steady exhaling your ujjayi breath. Look for the sound at the back of the throat. Just allowing the breath. Let's pour in, brushing the back of the throat, making that soft sound. And pour out. Same, same sound across the back of the throat. Dead. So take a moment to tune in to how your body's feeling this morning. Right, just notice, notice her parts. This kind of abrupt shift in the weather and just see how that's affecting you. Like all of a sudden it's summer. That was fast, right? It was like chilly and cool and then 90. <laughs> so just notice how if that's impacting you in some way. Um, you know, there, there's no right or wrong answer to that. It's just an observation you can make in your body. I think my body kind of likes the heat. I grew up here and <laughs> I think it just responds well to when the weather shifts to warm. But notice how you feel, right? Because that's not true for everybody. All right, so just keeping that in mind, right? Just seeing, noticing honoring how you are with your practice, right? letting the practice 
need you. All right, wiggle your fingers and wiggle your toes. And circle the wrists and the ankles. And take your stretch. Oh, reaching the arms overhead, stretching the legs, super long. Oh my goodness. All right, and hug the knees. Gentle squeeze. Rock a little bit side to side. How's your back? Low back, give me band. Hmm. Take the legs all the way over to the left. And then peel the right arm open out to the right. Soften. Oh, right, let the chest open up. Make the twist about your ribs and your shoulders. And coming up through center. Take an inhale. And exhale your legs over to the other side. And then same, peel the left arm open. Well, same, but other side. Right, let the left shoulder be heavy and stretch. And again, make it about the ribs, the rib part of your spine. The low back just stays, you know, fairly neutral. All right, back up to center. Oh, my goodness. Well, let's just stretch the backs of the legs for a second just because it feels good. Well, maybe it feels good. <laughs> Draw the legs in. Stretch the hamstrings, maybe your calves a little bit, and then legs out wide and just take a breath or two there. Oh, all right. That's good. Okay, let's bring the feet to the floor, legs together, knees bent, feet flat, a la bridge pose. Curl the tailbone under. And we'll do a couple of different things as we're here, but but first, just nice and easy, lifting the hips and floating the arms. Lift the hips off the floor, reach the arms overhead. Oh, right, so just kind of feeling into the back of the body. A little stretch in the front of the legs. Slowly lower back down. Tuck the tailbone under. Really try to articulate even through the lower back. Of course, the hips will come to the floor, but <laughs> let's do that again. Lifting up. Peeling the spine up off the floor, reaching the arms overhead. <sighs> Lift the chest. Your glutes will squeeze, that's fine. You know, let them squeeze, press the big toes down. And then slowly roll it down. Tuck the tail. <sighs> Articulate the spine. One more time like that. Peeling the spine off the floor. Reaching the arms overhead. Have the palms turn so the hands are facing each other. Lengthen your tailbone out through your knees. Soften the rib tips in. Breathe. Lift the hips a little higher. Hopefully you feel the back of the body working. <laughs> and then one vertebrae at a time. Let's go super slow. Curl the tailbone under and really round, round through the lower back. Notice if the low back resists that action a little bit. Ah, and then hips down, arms down. Ah, okay, uh, let's grab on to the outer edge of the mat. So actually grab, like, just like, hold it in your hands. And um, we're going to get a little active in the arms. So peeling the thumbs away from each other or like you're trying to pull your mat apart, right? Pull the mat wide and tuck your knuckles under. Try and tuck your knuckles under the mat, peel the mat apart, and then see if you can tuck some of the outer upper arm under, like a little baby bridge pose right now while your hips are still on the floor, right? Just a little snuggle of the outer upper arm under as you pull your mat apart. Keep the arms active, lift your hips. So light bridge pose, but a slightly less because your hands are wide. Right, keep pulling the mat apart, tuck the arms under. 
pull them out apart, lift the hips. Take another breath, puff the chest towards the chin. Feel that stretch. And then rounding, let the ribs drop back. Slowly come down, the arms can release a little bit, soften up to the side. Ah. All right, relax there. All right, so we're gonna do like that. Holding onto the mat, right, holding onto the mat. Do that again. So really, you know, get a good handful, get a good grip. And like you're trying to pull your mat apart, right? The knuckles can tuck under, tuck the outer upper arm under, lift the hips. So as you come up, right, snuggle the outer upper arm under. Let the low belly soften back, right? In fact, try and make a little, a little lake, right, in between your hip bones. Pull the low belly back. So we're not like jamming the hips up towards the ceiling. What we want is to get into the upper back. So coil the spine in in between your ribs, right? Can you drop the low belly back? and coil the spine in between the ribs. Soften the rib tips in, engage the upper back. Take another breath here. Maybe the outer upper arms can snuggle under just a little bit more. And slowly lower down. Lower, lower, all the way down. Huh. All right, take a moment here, soften. My mat's a little crinkly. Um, just notice how everything feels. All right, we're going to do one more time. You have the option of actually doing bridge pose right now, which I know we never do really at the very beginning of class, but we held onto the mat a couple of times, and if your shoulders are like, yeah, maybe, give it a go. If you're like, what? No way. <laughs> Don't, you know, just hold onto your mat. We'll do it one more time. So either way is up to you. You can hold onto the edges, and maybe we'll start there, holding onto the edges of the mat, lifting that. And then if you want, you can add the intervals. All right, here we go. Come on up. So can you drop the belly back? Can you coil the spine in between the shoulder blades, right? Really mobilize the upper back. If this feels okay in your shoulders, maybe interlace your fingers and come into bridge pose. Right, lengthen through the tailbone, breathe. All right, one more breath. Chest to chin, and then slowly bring it down, down, all the way down. <sighs> all right, bridge pose right away. Take a moment, hug your back. All right, let's hug the knee then. Obviously, we have a little more moving around to do. <laughs> Rock a little bit side to side. Oh, that's nice. Okay, let's come up. Rock and roll forward and back. You can do that a couple times if you like. <laughs> Come on around. All right, a couple rounds of cat cow, just cause. All right, lift the chest. Notice how this feels. All right, your spine's pretty warmed up. Roll through the vertebrae. All right, both directions. Inhaling, extending the spine, lifting the chest, the sit bones. Exhaling, rounding the spine, flexing the spine. Inhale one more time like that. Exhale. As you come back forward towards your inhale, let's find a more centered spine, hug the rib tips in. Walk the hands a little forward, downward facing dog. Lift your hips up and back. Ooh, stretch the backs of the legs. If you like, pedal out the heels a time or two. Shake out your head. Stretch your legs. A couple of breaths. Just settling into down dog, right? Steady, steady the gaze back between the heels, maybe the ankles. Smooth out the ujjayi breath.
Just steady your body. Let's do two more breaths. On your next inhale, shift your gaze forward. Exhale, lift the heels, bend the knees, walk in the feet to the hands. If you want to take a little jump, jump your feet to your hands. <sighs> take a breath in a forward fold. Let your upper body relax. Bend the knees if you like. Even if you're pretty flexible here, a soft bend is nice. Relax the shoulders, the upper back. All right, if you're holding your elbows, release it. Inhale, lift the chest, lengthen forward. If you can straighten your legs, straighten the legs. Hug the belly in, longest spine. Fold back down, exhaling. Inhaling, firm the glutes to rise. Come all the way up, reaching up, pressing the palms, bringing the hands to the heart. Pausing here. Drop your gaze. Close your eyes if you like. Pausing to set an intention for our practice. Set an intention for your practice. I'll encourage you to stay with your breath and you know, listen to your body. Maybe you have an intention for your practice today or, or reaffirming why you're, you're on your mat this morning. Feel free to keep your eyes closed as much or as long as you like. Take an inhale. And softly sigh, exhale. <sighs> Release your hands down. And again, maybe the eyes stay closed. Turn the palms out. Inhale, reach the arms out and up. Lift your chin, you can. Exhale, hinge at the hips and fold in half. Long spine. Inhale, lift the chest, lengthen forward, press the thighs back, firm the glutes. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, come back up, firm the glutes, lift the chest, arms wide, reach up. Exhaling, Anjali Mudra, pulling the hands to the heart and then hands down, palms out, inhale. Exhale, hinging and folding. Inhale, lift the chest, come halfway up. Exhale, bend your knees, hands are down. Take the right foot, take a big step back. Drop the right knee down to the floor. Flatten the foot, press the shin, the top of the foot down. Inhale, sweep up. Lift the hip bones up, lift the chest up, press the upper arms back. Inhale. Exhale, take it down, hands to the floor. Tucking the back toes, lift the knees, step to plank, pause. Ah. Oh. Plank pose, <laughs> your friend, your buddy, right high up on the tippy toes. Press the floor away, use your abs, right? knit the ribs in. Keep the middle of the body nice and lifted. Lengthen forward, inhale. Bend the elbows, lowering down, exhale. Mm. <laughs> it's nice if you can keep your abs engaged, you know, it's helpful. Reach the hands back. Melt the pubic bone down. Lift the head, the chest, lift the legs. Stretch back through the fingertips. Curl the tailbone under. Inhale, exhale. All right, we're gonna interlace. Curl the tailbone under. Inhale, lift up. Stretch the knuckles back. Press the thighs up. Switch the interlace of the hands. Reach back again. Neck long, heart up. And let it go. Woo! <laughs> it's worky. All right, keep the legs close. Turn the palms to face the floor. Tailbone under. Here we go, one more time, Shalabhasana. Lift the legs, the head, the chest. Float the hands, right? Keep the legs hugging in. Curl the tailbone under. Sweep the arms out and up. Shoulders away from your neck. Thumbs lifting to the sky. 
One more breath, inhale, come on down, exhale. <laughs> All right. We're coming back up, plant the palms. <sighs> Tuck your toes. All right, inhale. Exhale, press the floor away, come to your plank pose. Inhale, exhale. Downward facing dog. All right. Lift the right leg up into the air. Inhale, exhale, round the spine. Squeeze, go slow. Slow is slow motion. Pull the knee forward, round, round, keep going, step. Whew. Your foot between your hands. Back knee down, flatten the foot. Press the top of the foot into the floor. Inhale, up, on, give me asana. Lift the hip bones up, right, lift them up, lift the chest, press the upper arms back, shoulders away from the neck. Lift the heart, inhale, exhale, come on down. Tuck the back toes, lift the knees, step forward. Inhale, exhale, firm the glutes. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, all the way back down. <laughs> exhale, fold. Inhale, lift the chest up. Exhale, bend the knees, hands down, left foot steps back, dropping the back knee, Anjani Asana. Inhale, lift up, pull the frontal hip bones up, right, bend into the front knee. Now, you may need to pad your back knee, just see how this goes. If you need to, you can. Bend the left knee, pull the heel in. Oh, it's fun. Take one more breath, hug the ribs in. Oh my goodness, exhale. Gently releasing the hands down. Release your foot to the floor. Tuck the back toes, lift the knees, step to plank. Pause. Right, ribs in, high up on the tippy toes. Right, if you lift up, it'll help you engage your abs or force you to engage your abs. One of those two. All right. Knees, chest, chin. Knees, chest, chin. Oh my goodness, oh, that's good. Hug the rib tips in. Flatten the feet, melt the hips to the floor, peel the chest up. Cobra pose. Draw the heart through the arms. Melt the tailbone down, pubic bone down. Downward facing dog. Whoo, hips up and back. All right. Left leg, lift it up, inhale, exhale, round, 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 squeeze into a little ball, step your foot between your hands, hopefully you did that in slow motion, back knee down, flatten the foot, lift up, okay, so you know what's coming, pad your knee if you need to, lift your hip bones up, Right, lift up, reach up with your arms. Right, it helps with your balance. All right, ready, here we go. <laughs> Peel the front, back foot rather, not the front foot. Back foot up off the floor. <sighs> lift up, heart up, hip bones up. One more breath, square the hips to the front of the room, to the front of your mat. Exhale, <laughs> come on down, I don't know what, which way you're facing in the room that you're in. We're going to step forward. Step the right foot to the top of the mat. <sighs> Inhale. Halfway lift. Exhale. Whew, just enjoy the stretch in the backs of your legs. All right. You can appreciate the hamstring work of the back bends. All right. Firm the glutes. Inhale. Let's come all the way up. Reach it up. Exhale. Hands to the heart. Take a breath. Inhale. Side out, release the hands down, relax your shoulders, standing tall in Tadasana, lifting up with the hip bones, 
by just trying to get a nice neutral, neutrally oriented pelvis. Okay, turn the palms out. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, hinge and fold in half. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bend the knees, hands are down. Keep stepping back or jump back to plank if you prefer. Plank pose, top of a push up. Tailbone under, tailbone under. Right forearm down, left forearm down. You know if we're doing back bends, we have to make sure and also do abs. Lengthen your heart forward and press your thighs to the ceiling. Send your tailbone to your heels. Abs. Three, two, one. Sphinx, knees down. Flatten the feet, hips down, chest up. Stretch your belly. Press the pubic bone down to the floor. Lift the heart up. Stretch your belly. Come on down. Soften. We'll do one more sphinx. Well, that's not entirely true, but one more right now. All right. Back up. Sing. Shoulders away from the neck. Right, and make it about the upper back. Curl the tailbone under and coil the spine in, right in between the ribs. Right, lifting the chest up. Right, lifting the chest, drawing the heart forward, stretch the front of the body. Inhale. Exhale. Come on down. All right. Back to form. <laughs> on your elbows, your forearms, hands, shoulder distance, elbows under your shoulders. Tuck your toes. Lift your belly. Curl the tailbone under your thighs. Your Right? Okay. Lean into your left forearm, plant your right hand. Press yourself back up to plank. Inhale, exhale. Downward facing dog. Take a breath or two here. Let's stretch the right leg up into the air. Turn the toes out, lift the hip and the knee. Oh, we've done a bit of stretching in this direction already, so maybe you can. Touch your foot to your head. I'm really close. Super close, guys. Bring it back. <laughs> right foot down, left foot up. Ah. Right, same. Peel open, stretch. Oh, this side. I'm definitely going to do it. Touch your foot to your head. <laughs> Some things you just have to know are never going to happen. Okay. Square it off. Foot to the floor. I've come to terms with that one. All right. Back to your plank. Whoo! Right, your arms. Okay. Left forearm down. Right forearm down. Back. <laughs> yes, back into your forearm plank. Heart goes forward. At the same time, we're curling the tailbone under, right? Lift the belly. All right, swing pose, come on down. Oh, lift the chest. Mouth the pubic bone to the floor. Try and stay this lifted. Reach your arms back, a la Shalabhasana. Oh my gosh, one more breath, hearts up. Oh, and come on down. Oh my goodness. To really teach your back muscles how to help you do that. All right, we're gonna do Sphinx again. So let's bring the arms forward. Elbows under your shoulders. So your elbows are back, but not as far back as your waist, right? Heart forward or not. Pull the chest through. Maybe lift your elbows up off the floor this time, right? Activate the upper back, coil the spine in, press the pubic bone down, right? Reaching through the feet, consider bending your knees. Oh, touch your feet to your head, right? Just like Laura would do, my daughter. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay, come on. 
She can practically bend herself in half that way. So we'll just do the best we can. <laughs> oh, stretchy. Let your back relax. Let your arms relax. Just have a moment. Of course, we're coming back up into our form plank. Obviously, <laughs> elbows under your shoulders. Tuck the toes. Lift the belly. Peel the thighs up. Curl the tailbone under. Lift your knees. All right, breathe here. Press the floor away. Lean into your right forearm. Plant your left hand down. Press yourself back up. Plank inhale. Exhale. Downward facing dog. Cool. <laughs> your refuge is downward facing dog. Take a breath here. Sigh it out. All right. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, lift the heels, bend the knees, walk or flow your feet to your hands. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway up. Exhale, fold it in. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, the hands to the heart. Whew. All right, let's do, let's do an A sun salute. Just keep it nice and simple. You can modify the vinyasa as you need to. If you can, chaturanga up dog, but you know, don't force it. Here we go, hands down, palms out, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, lift up halfway. So here we go, exhale, bend the knees, hands down. Step or jump back. And this is where you can modify chaturanga or the floor, upward facing dog. Oh my back cracked over cobra pose. Ah, All right. Stretch back. Soften the rib tips in. Get a little longer. Inhale. Exhale. Lift the heels. Bend the knees. Walk. Float your feet to your hands. Halfway lift. Inhale. Fold. Exhale. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, hands to the heart. Take a breath. Inhale. Exhale. Release your hands down. Relax the shoulders. All right, we're going to keep this show on the road. Utkatasana. Inhale. Exhale, bend deeply. Inhale, sitting into the heels. Reach the arms. Right away, melt the shoulder blades down and scoop up through the pinky edges of the hands. Right, is it possible for you, because it is for me, to hug the tips of your ribs in a little bit more? Right, draw those ribs in, lengthen the lower back. Inhale, press the upper arms back. Exhale, fold. <sighs> Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, bend the knees, hands are down, step back, jump back. Take a vinyasa, so chakuranga if you can, or lower to the floor. You can do cobra pose if you like, or the upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. <sighs> All right. Right leg lifts. Inhale. Exhale your knee to your nose. Inhale, reach it up and back. Yeah, touch your right arm. Come forward, exhale. Inhale, lift. Touch your left arm with your knee, of course. <laughs> Lean forward. Inhale, reach. And step it through. All the way forward, stepping the foot between the hands. Let's start in crescent pose. Come on up. Lift. Whoa. <laughs> Lift the hip bones up. Melt the shoulder blades down. All right, sending the tailbone towards the floor. Lift. All right. Bring the hands behind your back. Interlacing the fingers. Keep rooting the inseam of the front foot down. Reach the knuckles back and down as you lift your heart up. Maybe you find your left leg in a thigh back there. Lift the hips, lift the chest. One more breath, maybe bend a little deeper. Release the bind. Sweep the arms out and up and back, inhale, exhale, 
all the way down, hands to the floor. Plant the left hand under your shoulder so your hand is fairly close to your foot. Feel free to use a block or a block like object. Reach the right arm up into the air. Press the back leg straight. And rotate the chest, rotate the ribs, the shoulders. Inhale, exhale, bring the hand down, stepping the front foot back. Find your plank, take your vinyasa, feel free to rest. I need a sip. <laughs> a lot of talking, I believe. Okay, it was too hard, huh? <laughs> All right, down dog. Left leg up, inhale, exhale, knee to your nose. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, touch your left arm, shift forward. Inhale, reach it up and up. Touch your right arm, round and squeeze and touch. Inhale, lift, and this time step it forward. Step through, up into the crescent pose. All right, <laughs> tailbone long, shoulders away from the neck, scoop it up. All right, so as much as we're lifting the heart, we don't wanna just spill the belly forward. So keep lifting up through the frontal hip bones. Press the upper arms back, one more breath. Bring the hands behind you. Keep the inseam of the front foot pressing down. Interlace the fingers the opposite way, and then reach the knuckles. Lifting the chest up, lengthening the tailbone down. Maybe you find your inner thigh back there. Try bending a little deeper. Lift the chest. Keep the lift, release the bind. Reach the arms up, even back. Inhale. Exhale, all the way down, pause. <laughs> Plant your right hand, wrist under the shoulder, just inside the left foot. Peel open, oh. pin the left hip back, press your back leg straight. Breathe, maybe look up, get wide across the chest. Rotate the ribs. And bring it down. Top hand to the floor, stepping back, taking the vinyasa or not. Right, it's up to you. Downward facing dog. All right. Very nice. <laughs> Stretch back. Get long. Take an inhale. Exhale, lift the heels. Bend the knees, walk, float, feet to hands, lift up halfway, inhale, fold, exhale, oot, katasana, <laughs> oot, lift the hip bones. Right, maybe you can see it, right, lengthening through the lower back. I mean, see it as I do it, but maybe feel it in your body. Okay, lift the heels. <laughs> Shoulders over the hips, right? Feel the heat in your legs, stand up, lift the heels. Keep them lifted if you can. Relax the shoulder blades down, lengthen up through the fingertips. <laughs> All right, bend, slide down the wall, keep the shoulders over the hips as best as you can. Arms out wide, so you're all the way down. Okay, I'm a little bit forward. Back up just a smidge. Okay, from here, hands to your heart. Separate your knees if you need to, but let's just bring the knees down onto the floor. <laughs> Lift up, hands on your hips. Separate your feet so they're hip distance. Tuck your toes. Ustrasana. Lift the hip bones up. Send the tailbone long. Right, lengthen here. Heart lifting. Heart lifting, shoulder heads back. 
two rounds of this. Two rounds. Chest is lifting, tailbone lengthening. Find your heels, maybe. Right, open the heart, lift your chest, lengthen through the back of your neck. Hip bones up, up, up. One more breath. Release it, both sides together. Keep the toes tucked, let's sit back. Do this as long as you can. I don't mean like some of you could probably do this for 20 minutes, but for those of you that are suffering through this, right, because I know it can be kind of intense, hang on to it as long as you can. When you need to stop, go stop. Hands at the heart, breathe. Right, breathe. Relax your jaw, relax your shoulders. Right, take one more breath here. It's good for you. Okay, come on out. I really used to not be able to do that. Right, but it's good for your feet. Helps prevent the plantar fasciitis and stuff like the, the tightening of the soles of the feet that we sometimes get. Um, so it's a good stretch for that. Prevention. Once you have it, it's a little dicey, but because it can be really painful. Uh, okay. Flat feet if you can. If it was easy for you to reach your heels with your toes tucked, then flat feet. All right, same tailbone lengthening, heart lifting, right? Coil the spine in, the upper back, right? Lifting the chest. Let the shoulders lean back a bit. Keep the tailbone long, right? Where are your heels? Find them back there. Lift the heart, lengthen the tailbone. Thighs gently moving forward. Another breath, how's your upper back? Use it more. Oh, there we go. And then release it, both sides together. <sighs> Sit back on your heels. You can flatten your feet this time or tuck the toes again if, if you like. Hands on your thighs or hands on your heart. Hmm, relax your shoulders. Okay, Ustrasana is the camel pose. Good job, you guys. Uh, let's do down dog. Plant your hands, step it back. Right, stretch. Down dog is a nice counter to back bend. Right, stretch the backs of your legs. Let the spine lengthen. Ah, right. Fantastic. Okay, left leg, right leg. <laughs> it's my left leg. It's your right leg. Just in case, I'm still doing the opposite. I gotta stay with it. Send the right leg up into the air. Inhale. Exhale, rounding the spine, squeeze and round and step. Your foot between your hands. Let's bring the back heel to the floor for warrior one. Come on up. Right, bringing the left side forward. Lengthen the outer seam. Right, melt the shoulders down. That's all. Awesome. All right, warrior two. Hands to your heart. Maybe you widen it a little bit more front to back. I need a little more space. And narrow it side to side a bit. Come on, Ben. All right. Lengthen up. Right, lengthen up through the crown of the head and then feel the strength in your legs. Squeeze your glutes. Yeah, legs are strong. Strong, strong. Okay, come forward, peek up. So you can do forearm to knee. I'm gonna just scooch my foot back. Or hand to the floor or a block. Let's go to the inside today. Reach the top arm up. Oh, wide across the chest. We're not gonna stay like this, but just for a breath or two, bring the arm behind you in a half bind. We're, we're not gonna stay, so you don't really have to come into the full bind. Just roll the chest open. Oh, right, feel that. Keep that, let go of the bind, and sweep the left arm up and over. Mm. Right, that same light across the chest though. Hug the ribs in. Breathe here, so good. All right, looking down. Reach the top arm straight up. You can always bring your hand to your hip. 
This is a big step into Ardha Chandrasana. Reach your right hand forward. Big step, try it. <laughs> Maybe your right hip, your glute is a little bit on fire right now. Breathe into it, it's okay. Lengthen the right side. <laughs> Maybe bend the left knee and catch the foot or the ankle. Right, half moon, it's really a new moon, but soften the ribs in. Lengthen through the knee, the lifted knee. Right, reach it away, open the chest. Hug the ribs in, lift the belly, gently release it. Back out through our warrior two, bend the left right knee, reach your left foot back, oh, land, nice, reverse it, lifting the heart up to the sky, bend into the front knee, aha, inhale, awesome, exhale, woo, Step it back. Oh my goodness. Take the vinyasa, go straight to down dog, rest in child's pose. Just appreciate the difference in your two sides, right? Notice the right side, it's probably not that hard. Notice the left side, right? Whew. No worries, we'll even that out for you. No problem. All right, <clears throat> slide two. Downward facing dog if you're not already there. All right, left leg for real this time. Left leg to the air, inhale. Exhale, rounding, hollowing out. Step lightly, back heel drops. Give a little space between the heels, side to side. And come on up. Shoulders down. Wrapping the pinky edges of the hands in. Right, draw that outer left thigh back. Right in the right side forward. Right, melt it here. Hug this in. Rib tips. Right? They love to stick out, especially when our arms are overhead. So keep some engagement in the belly. And let's go to warrior two. Hands to the heart. Make some space if you need it, right? The wider is gonna give you more stretch. So do you want more stretch? Is that appropriate for you right now? See, see how you feel, right? But do look for the stretch to the inner thighs because that's a nice part of this, right? Firm the glutes. <laughs> All right. Couple more breaths here. Arms nice and strong, right? Reach through the fingertips. Hmm, okay. Forward into the Otita. So I gotta just scooch my foot back a little bit. Forearm to knee or hand to the floor or a block. Open up, do the half bind just for a couple breaths, right? Hang on, open the chest, the shoulder, right? Lengthen the tailbone. Shoulder head back, keep that back, sweep it up and over into the full pose with Yukta Parjva Kamalsa. Breathe here. How is your breath? Can you smooth out the Ujjayi breath? Strong legs. Bring the gaze down, reach the right arm up to the sky. Send the left hand forward, big step. Strong, ready, go, oh, there we go, all right. Open it up, lengthen the outer left hip back again, still. Bend the right knee, catch the foot if you can. Right, pull the hip bones up, open the chest. If you can, you can look up, right, take your time doing that, right, and then, whew. We'll release the bind. <sighs> Warrior two. Ah, oh, there we go. Woo! Reverse it, keep bending into that front knee. I know. Inhale, up. Exhale, oh, bring it down. Oh my goodness. Feel the heat in your hip. I'm gonna take a quick other step. 
All right, down dog's gonna feel great. Oh, all right, just stretching everything out. All right. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Your glutes. Okay. Shift forward into plank pose. <laughs> Hug the belly in. Lengthen the heart forward. Inhale. Exhale, lower down oh, to the floor. For Don, you're awesome. <laughs> it's like all your favorite back bends rolled into one arm. Okay. <laughs> Bend your knees. We just did a kind of half version in our Ardhashandrasana, Chapasana, when we grabbed the foot. So let's see if we can grab both feet. If you have your strap or something like that handy, if, if you don't, if you're not able to reach, you can put the strap around the fronts of your ankles and hold on to the strap. One hand on each side. One end of the strap on each side. Um, otherwise, grab your feet, grab your ankles. All right. We gave you a little resty break. <laughs> Curl the tailbone under. Let's set yourself up. Right? Curl the tailbone under. Lift the shoulder heads. Inhale, lift the head, the chest, kick the feet back, open the heart, press the thighs away from the floor, curl the tailbone under, scoop the chest forward, use your upper back, and come on down. All right, release your feet for a moment. We're going to do that again, of course, of course. <laughs> Breathe. Reach back. Grab on. All right. Ready? Shoulder heads lifted. Inhale. Exhale. Kick the feet back. Coil the chest up. Pull the thighs up off the floor. Melt the pubic bone down. And can you lift your chest anymore? Can you lift your legs any higher? Curl the tailbone under. Hug the legs in. One more breath, chest up, and release it. All the way down. Okay. <laughs> you can bend your knees if you like. You can do a little windshield wiper side to side with the shins. Okay. I'm looking at the clock. <laughs> Just, we have a couple more things to do. All right. So I realize that you probably have an urge to do child's pose. I'm gonna ask you to resist the urge to do child's pose and instead do downward facing dog. So getting there in whatever method makes the most sense for you. Uh, press up, I still have to do knees like downward facing dog. All right, all right, lengthen the spine. Good. <laughs> Pressing the thighs back. Mm. All right. Inhale. Sending the right leg up into the air. Exhale. Round the spine. Step your foot forward. Put the back knee down on the floor. And let's come up. Uh, what we're actually going to do is, you know, I think I'm going to add the blanket and just pad my back knee. So we're going to pick the foot up, the back foot off the floor. And if you feel like your knee could use a little extra, you can also fold your mat over. There's a lot of options here, especially you're at home, so you probably have all sorts of towels and things handy. All right, so for, <laughs> this was unceremoniously, forearm on the knee, let's bend the right left knee and reach back and grab on and just breathe into that stretch, my goodness. If you feel comfortable grabbing with both hands, you can. It's not really important if you do that or not. I just sort of like it, but you can keep one hand free. It's totally fine. I want this stretch for you right now, though. Right? Feel the stretch in the front of the hip and the thigh. Right? Maybe bend a little deeper. Be nice to your lower back. Right? Keep it long. That's why we're going to keep the torso forward for now. Right, tuck the tailbone under. Oh, so stretchy. Right, and balancing. Gently lift up, releasing. 
Right, we're gonna switch to the other side. So plant your hands, step. If you want, you can take a vinyasa, it's totally fine. Um, and then bringing the left foot forward. Uh, step it through, drop the right knee down, come up, bend, grab onto. You can stay just like this, or you can reach the other hand back too. Either way is fine. This way with both hands back just makes you have to balance a little bit more. Curl the tailbone under, mountain hips forward. Breathe. Right, look for the stretch and the release in the front of the left leg, right leg. The front of your right leg, back leg. All right, let it go. Foot to the floor. So your legs hopefully got a little juice from that. Like, yes, stretch, but also some work, right? So just appreciate your legs. <laughs> It's probably not that hard, but I <laughs> appreciate your legs. Okay, I'm gonna scooch this out of the way. Let's bring the right leg forward again. Pick it up. Oh, hold on. Your strap though. Have that hand this time. <laughs> your right foot forward. And then bring it across. We've been doing a lot of back bends. So Ekapada. Take a moment to just, if you find a relief here like I do, just give yourself a second, let your legs kind of relax. Because all of this is, you know, everything's working, everything's lifting and holding you. And so, you know, give yourself a second. Because we really want that. You know, we want the, the intention throughout. So we'll possibly do this a couple of ways. Um, Let's first try with the mermaid variation. Now, if your hip doesn't, your right hip doesn't touch the floor, you'll probably want to slide your blanket or a block or something like that under it. Or if it does and it's hard for you to sit up because you're like, oh my gosh, you're feeling this a lot. Put something under your hip because as you lift up, it minimizes the stretch a little bit, you know, so it won't be so intense. All right. If you're okay on the floor, I think I am, I guess we'll find out. <laughs> um, we'll bend the back knee again. So, here we go. Right, pull it in, see how that feels. Right, if you can, I'll grab onto your foot and pull your foot in. Right, then see if you can maybe slide your arm inside your Right, and let your foot kind of squiggle towards your elbow. I have to be careful there because this shoulder is funny, but it feels okay, so I just had to go slow with that. But get your foot into the crook of your elbow if you can. Stay with it, right? Press into the front shin, try and get a little taller. If it's possible, you can pick your hand up, reach it forward, reach it up, 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 hook your hands back there. The mermaid variation, right? Chest up. All right, slowly release it. Unbind. We're going to give this side a break, do the other side, and then come back to the left. One more time where we will use our strap. I was debating doing it all at once, but I feel like we need to switch. So let's switch sides. Ah, oh, I feel like the hip needs a break, or the hips need a break. Oh, right, but we'll try it again and um, after we do the left side of the mermaid variation. So let's bring the left foot forward. And you can just lie the shin down if you want. Walk it back. Oh, right, take a breath or two. Because <laughs> now your other hip gets to stretch and that's nice. Obviously, this is a pretty asymmetrical pose. So it's, it, even though it feels like kind of a lot, and I promise we won't do any more back bends after this. Um, the back bends do kind of build on each other. So if you have the, 
energy to keep at it. You know, we'll, we'll do one more round after this. Okay, let your front foot pull back a little bit too. That also kind of adds a little bit of softness, a little bit more ease to this. A little sukha. And then we'll bend the right knee. So as you're ready. These pants have all sorts of weird seams, and I have to like work around the seams. Pull your heel in, right? If you hold your foot, if you can, but keep lengthening the lower back, and then see if your foot will kind of squiggle to your elbow. Your arm will go back, right? And then you try and come forward again. And we're going to root down into the front shin, get a little active in the legs. Like I'm lifting myself up a bit here. Reach the left hand forward. We'll keep lifting it up until maybe you can bend the hand behind your head and catch. Right? Lift the chest, hug the ribs in. Take another breath. Breathe into the stretching. <laughs> and then slowly, gently release it. Oh. All right, so one more time, one more time. If you're like, I can't do that again, you can always do bridge pose, do something a little, you know, more low key, less, less energy required. Okay, if you have some juice, and I know some of you do, <laughs> one more time, pigeon pose. Right leg forward. Again, propping that back hip, not the Actually, you want to prop your front hip. Um, prop your front hip if it doesn't touch the floor or if you're feeling a big stretch in the back of the hip, right? If it already feels like a lot. All right, so we're going to take our strap. And I'm going to do like with no loop just in case you also have something that doesn't have a loop in it. And just get the middle, like make a little loop. Look it around your foot. If you need to set that up in advance, you can come out of it, get the strap there. Right? I like it really around my foot. And then you can keep it there. All right, so bring the ends of the strap or whatever you have over your shoulder. All right, I'm trying to fix my, but my pants are like stuck to my mat. Okay, overhead. This is some work, right? Lift the chest up. Lift your chest up. Lift your chest up. Hug the elbows in. Walk your hands towards your foot, right? And lift your chest. Lift your chest. Lift your chest. Take one more breath. And then slowly release it. Soften for a moment. I know you probably want a forward fold. Just resist because we're going to do one more back. <laughs> and then I promise we'll do child's pose and it'll be easy peasy after that. Okay, walk it in. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm going to shake it around a little bit. Go for it. All right, I'm just going to put my right leg in the strap and take my left leg out. Forward. All right, one more. One more. <laughs> you can do it. You can do it. If you're just like, I'm just going to do the pigeon pose, thanks. <laughs> That's okay, too. I forgive you. <laughs> okay. All right, bend your right knee. Watch out for that buckle in. This one has a metal buckle on it, so if you have a regular belt, you may also have a metal buckle. Be careful. All right. So get the strap to your foot, and then just take your time. See how this side feels. Lift your chest, hug your elbows in. Right, you're trying to get your hands behind your head, which they may or may not want to do. Right, lift the chest up. Walk your hands back. 
however much. Lift, breathe, right? Don't hold your breath. Ah, I looked at the camera and it made me tip over. Slowly, <laughs> slowly, gently release. <laughs> oh, take a moment. All right, fantastic. Good job, everybody. All right, down dog and then trap pose. Here we go. Oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> oh, right? So that was a lot of back bends. Come on down. Oh. Relax your forehead to the floor and just see how your back feels. Hopefully your upper back feels tired. <laughs> Like it really did a lot of stuff because that's what we want from our back bends. <sighs> that is what we want. All right. Take your time. We're going to do a little bit of counter posing. <laughs> Come up. Oh my gosh. Okay. Bring your legs out front. <sighs> Sit up tall. So we're first going to take a twist. Actually, let me turn. Okay, here we go. So we're first going to take a twist. So let's um, pull the left knee in. To organize that. Right, pull the left knee in, sit up tall. The march has a twist. You can hook the elbow, not hook the elbow, like make it as deep as you like. Your upper back did a lot of work, so it's warm, but it's I'm sweating. It's warm, but it's also probably um, a little bit tired. So just see how this feels. There's no obligation to get into a super deep twist right now unless you want to. So scoop your right elbow around the front of your left knee. And then just start the rotation in the upper back, right? Lift your chest up, inhale, exhale, rotate, right? Take your twist. Keep your shoulders down, right? And just rotating in the ribs, the shoulders, your head, oh. right? Shoulders away from your neck. If you like, you can take the right arm and scoop it outside your left leg. Inhale, sit up. Exhale, twist. If you want, two more breaths. All right, on your next inhale, gaze forward. And exhale, ah, unravel. Release it, send the left leg out, give it a little shake. Pull the right knee in. Square yourself off, sit up tall. Hook the left elbow around the front of the right knee. And then again, start the rotation. Don't get too serious about it, but just a little bit of a beginning as you bring your right hand behind you. Inhale, lengthen. And then rotate the ribs, the shoulders, your head and your neck. Mm. Right, bring your attention to the left side of your waist and just kind of Draw the left side of the waist back, back from whence it came, right? And see if you can get the ribs to rotate and the shoulder in your head. And if you did it on the first side, if you like that, reach the left arm up and exhale it outside the right knee. Lengthen the spine as you inhale and twist a little deeper as you exhale, right? Keep the chest nice and lifted. Again, drawing the left side of the waist back as you rotate. Take one last breath. Inhale, lengthen to the spine. Exhale, try and twist that last little bit. And gazing forward. Inhale. Oh, unraveling the twist as you exhale. Okay, legs out front. Give them a little shake. <laughs> Dandasana. Tapashimottanasana, of course. Inhale, reach up. Exhale. Oh, 
out over the legs. Grabbing onto your feet, the pinky edges maybe, or use your strap and wrap it around to get wherever you need to get. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hold in. Stretch the back of the body. Oh my goodness, this should feel pretty good. We're gonna take a couple of breaths and try and stay active with it, right? Using your arms and like giving yourself a nice kind of lengthening effort forward. And then we're gonna take about five breaths to just progressively soften and soften. So we'll do start from the yang and move to the yin, right? So one more breath, lengthening. And then gently just relax your arms. Relax your legs, let your feet start to flop. Let your head hang or support it with your hands or a block or maybe your forehead. I know some of you guys are pretty flexible. Maybe some of you are touching your leg with your head. It doesn't matter how it looks. Just relax and support yourself so that you can relax. So if it's too much to let your head go all the way down, but you don't have a block, then just use your hands in some way and relax as much as you can. Okay. And what we're trying to relax the most is the back of the body. So we're trying to let the upper back soften. Let the backs of your legs soften. Relax your jaw, that can definitely soften your mouth. All right, relax your eyes. Right, slowly, slowly. Inhale, lifting halfway up. Exhale, oh, coming the rest of the way up. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna give our hips a little bit more of a stretch, but a slightly different um, than the pigeon stretch, which uh, means we're gonna bring the knees across and go across and up, maybe. Right, so if the sitting up version of go Mukhasana is not available to you, and there's multiple reasons why that may not work out, feel free to lie on your back and see if you can do the lying down, because sometimes th this one's a little bit easier to do. And if that's still too much, do thread the needle, but do a kind of narrower thread the needle. So you're not angled, but maybe you have like your shin at the top of your neck. Just to get a slightly different angle at the hip. Okay, so for those of you that are capable of doing this, that your body will let you do this, really. Um, let's do Gomukhasana. Just the legs, don't have to do the arms. Stack the knees, sit the hips back. Right sit bone down, ah, lift the chest, inhale, and walk it out, exhale, oh, right? Allowing the upper back to soften. So we'll take several breaths here. And we can think of it as more of the yin pose, which they call shoes. Say we. <laughs> I teach yin sometimes. Um, <laughs> it's called shoelace in the yin practice. Um, in the, there's a few different variations of yin, but in the Paul Burley version of yin, which is pretty common, uh, shoelace. Oh my gosh. So we're going to take about eight more breaths here. Relax your jaw. Relax your upper back. My long exhales. So yin means that you're relaxing. Yin means no muscular effort. That's what yin means. So try for these last couple of breaths to really soften. Last breath, inhale, and just sigh it out, exhale. All right, lifting the chest, 
If you know Svavalasana, if you're doing Gomukhasana, <laughs> turn towards the front leg and walk yourself backwards around. So as you come up, you have to turn behind you. Don't move your feet, just let them spin in their place. Keep them where they are. And then as you spin around, you'll magically have your other hand. <laughs> Swivelasana. Yoga magic. Okay. <laughs> Try and stack your knees. <sighs> and forward. Okay. Oh, that's nice. Mm, stretch. The pigeon stretch is nice, but of course, as you change the angle of, you know, where your knee is in relationship to your hip, you're going to affect different muscles. So, you know, it's nice to come at it from a different way. We did that pigeon pose, even though we didn't relax in it, we were still in that shape quite a bit. So same yin idea on this side, where you're trying to really relax, soften your shoulders, no effort. Yin is really no muscles working, right? We're trying to soften, put some tension into the connective tissue, so that can also build some strength and resilience, right? When your muscles are working, your connective tissue doesn't, doesn't have the same job, it doesn't um, receive the same load as it does when your muscles are relaxed. So like when we're here, we're safe, we're on the floor, we, you know, like stretching, we're not doing dynamic jumping around. So we can get the, let the connective tissue um, in the hips, a little bit in your knees, but in your hips, really like receive the load of this. And, and, um, and then it, it builds, it gets stronger. how that works. This stress is good for your body to a point. <laughs> Chronic stress, not so good. Uh, all right, let's take last couple of breaths here. I know we didn't do anything upside down, which is crazy. Crazy dog. So if you want to put your legs up for Shavasana, I'm 100% down with that. If that doesn't, if you can't relax when you do that, don't, you don't have to, it's totally fine. You're not gonna die if you don't do an inversion today. All right, let's take a big breath, inhale. Sigh it out. Slowly come up. All right, unraveling legs. Okay, so again, no obligation to do something upside down. It's just we usually do. So uh, maybe you could do it after, you know, it's afternoon. They're, they're kind of energizing, um, but I feel like we did it. So we're going to lie down. Um, grab onto the backs of your knees, roll yourself on back. Oh, so good. Awesome work, everyone. So we just appreciate the effect of the back bends. Like, that's they're no joke. I mean, it's all this work on the floor. Like, all our back bends are on the floor. But <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> it does not matter. All right, do you want to do happy baby or a lie down twist or whatever easy stretchy thing? If you don't have a wall necessarily that you can scooch into, you can always put your, your calves your the lower leg like on your sofa or an ottoman or something like that um that's also nice at a little bit of an angle this is ab work for me but i'll show you so you look like this with your legs kind of away or if you have a wall a little bit of an angle right so your legs can rest in gravity right we want gravity to be our friend here not because if they're straight up they're going to get to the top of the mat. um so set yourself up so you feel comfortable, supported. <sighs> right, arms out wide. Maybe palms up as long as that feels okay in your shoulders. And just let your body relax. 
Ah, appreciate the effects of your back ends. Right? Feel the warmth in the body, the openness in the chest. Ah, the strength of your upper back. Yes. Mm. And then rest and just soften everything. You're a corpse, right? It's corpse pose. So the idea is that you're not doing anything. Right? Or you're as active as a corpse. So you lie in stillness. Whole body relaxing, whole body resting. Mm. Slowly begin to deepen your breath. Wiggle your fingers, your toes. Maybe take an easy stretch, reaching the arms overhead, stretching the legs. Oh, great. Hug the knees. Yeah. Rock gently side to Side. Come on, all the way over onto the right side. And a breath or two. Ah, okay, pressing yourself up to seated. Mm, all right, sitting up tall. Close your eyes. Just notice. Notice how you feel. Mm. Appreciate the effects of your practice. Bringing your hands to your heart. Take an inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, bow in the chin. Grateful as always for this beautiful practice, for all the goodness it brings right, to the body, to the mind, to the spirit. Right? Notice how different you feel right now. As versus when you came onto your mat earlier, right? Notice the shift. What else? What are you grateful for? Just pick one other thing. All right. Thank you so much for practice, everyone. I hope you have a wonderful Thursday. Namaste. Namaste, everybody.
All right, have a lovely day. I am doing a workshop on Saturday in the afternoon, which will give some really awesome, like I've been thinking about this for a long time, you guys, um, but some really like five fundamental things that you can do in yoga poses that you'll know that you're doing it right and getting all the juice out of it. So if you're free on Saturday afternoon and you want to spend a couple hours with me <laughs> and a few other people from 1.30 to 3.30 on Zoom, you can sign up for that. I'm very excited. Otherwise, maybe I'll see you guys on Sunday. Happy Thursday, everyone. Thank you, Christine. You're welcome. <laughs> Good to see you guys. Thanks, Rachel. Hi, Julie. <laughs> Bye, Vera. Hi, Tara. Where are you? There you are. Hello. <laughs> Thanks, Christine. You're welcome, Terry. You're welcome, Terry. <laughs> Have a great day, guys. Thank you, you too. Thank Happy birthday you. to Zara. Yeah, thanks. She's big. <laughs> I can kick her out now. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. She's a big kid. <laughs> she is, I know. She's a handful. <laughs> Enjoy awesome. the day. You too. Bye, Julie. Bye. Hi Connie. I'm gonna I'm gonna end and then Anne will jump on. <laughs>